took us how long to get another good video game movie, guys? I think that calls for a drink. Tomb Raider, the latest video game adaptations after a slew of... Let's just say not good ones. Film C is Alicia Vikander, starring as the lead character of Lara Croft, the Tomb Raider that we all know and love from the video games. And in this movie, the search for her father leads her to an island in the Devil's Sea where bad guys are doing bad things and she needs to stop them to prevent the end of the world. I mean, guys, it is a video game film, so if you were expecting any more depth to the story beyond what I just told you, seek help. Now, I'll be perfectly honest, I never really cared for the Tomb Raider movies with Angelina Jolie. I understand that they are guilty pleasures for some. They just do nothing for me. I actually tried to rewatch them before I saw this movie, and I just thought they were really dumb and cheesy, but really not much in a fun way. Like, I never really had fun with those films. I actually just thought that they were really boring and dumb. This film was more of what I expected going into those other films. And that being said, Tomb Raider is actually a very fun movie. A lot of this actually does stem from Alicia Vikander's performance as Laura Croft. Alicia Vikander gives 110% to this role. She really brings everything she can to make this role work. Because of her acting, especially when she's playing off Dominic West, who plays her father in the film, there are a lot more emotional moments than I was expecting. There was certainly a lot more character development out of Lara Croft than I expected from a video game adaptation, so I mean, I gotta give it that. Hey, the story is very paint-by-numbers. You can kind of see where it's going, aside from the twist in the third act, which was just kind of stupid. That being said, though, the action does go a long way in making this a fun film. Alicia Vikander goes a long way in making the lead performance of Laura Croft enjoyable. Every chance he gets, Walton Goggins as the villain really hams this up, and he's loving every second he's on screen. So I gotta give it up for him. Dominic West, also fantastic performance. All right, aside from that, there's really not much to the characters. You can kind of see where a lot's going. But guys, I will take this over Warcraft. I will take this over Assassin's Creed. I'll take it over any Uwe Ball film. This movie is actually a lot of fun. It's one of those movies you go in, you turn your brain off, you have a really good time. As far as it being an adaptation, I, it's definitely going to be mixed for some because they try to mix elements of the original game and the new game that came out a few years back into one movie. Some of it is okay, some of it just does not really mesh that well. And really, it's really going to depend on which one you were more into. Were you more into the older games? Were you more into the newer games? They really did just try to mash up a bunch of the old and new plot points together. Some of it worked, some of it didn't. But I felt that the stuff that worked really outweighed the bad. I had a really good time with this film all throughout. I loved the action. I liked a lot of the performances. And I liked that they actually made Lara Croft a very conflicted character. Somebody who's not just a gun-toting badass. Someone who actually has to learn as she goes along from her mistakes and from her experience. Is. I thought in terms of character development that was all done very well. Probably my biggest issue with this film though is okay, do you remember this line from Suicide Squad? How are you not dead? That was literally what I was saying almost every 10 minutes of screen time. Like, really. Lara Croft goes through all this shit and you're just like, how are you not dead? How? No. No! Like, half half the shit she goes through, you're just like, not a chance in hell she'd survive that. But, again, it's a video game film. I'll take what I can get, as long as they make it fun enough. And, in my opinion, they did. In the end, I'm going to give Tomb Raider a B-. I definitely do think that this is one of the better video game adaptations, and I do think that you should check it out. So what did you think of Tomb Raider? Have you seen it? Let me know in the comments, and please subscribe if you want to see more.